Good day, colleagues. Uh, now that uh, we have an idea what uh, a learning community of practice is all about, and uh, we also know uh, the structure of uh, the platform, now it's time to see now how to use this platform. But before to use the platform, we need first to register as a member, as a user of the platform. So you will see down here, you have register. So this is for people who speak English. But if you speak French, for example, you need to come uh, on the language area, you select French. If you speak Portuguese, you click on Portuguese and everything will be changed in Portuguese. For example, if I say I'm a Portuguese speaker, uh, the system will change immediately everything in Portuguese. So let me go back to English. So this video will be specifically for English and uh, I will also make videos in French. Unfortunately, I can't do that in Portuguese or Spanish. I don't know these two languages. Okay, so how to create an account is very simple. You click on register. The system open this online form that you need to fill in. You fill in the address, the first name, the last name, and very important here is to select the instance. It may be, we remember I demonstrated, I showed that we have already two uh, instances. One is curriculum processes and models. Another one is digital learning and teaching transformation. So you select the one that you want. Remember what I said, you can select up to two, no more than two. Uh, instances. Uh, it can be four or five, it doesn't matter the number. As long as you need them and you need to contribute, you need some support from colleagues and so on. So after that, you have to give a reason why you need to be a member. You can say um, it is for enhancing or collaborating with colleagues across Africa. So this can be one reason. Um, something very important that you need really to pay attention is the uh, site privacy statement. You read what is there, so it's not really long. Uh, this is what uh, we are suggesting concerning the usage of this platform. We are explaining how your data will be utilized. And after that, you have to accept. So you have to click here to say yes. If you don't accept, your account won't be created. Okay, but these are very simple uh, information. Uh, specifically, we want to use to tell you that you, you will be sharing your data on the system. Your name will be there, email, and so on and uh, how the data will be utilized, okay? So site terms of and conditions, also very short. Uh, you have also to accept this after you click on register. So this is very important um, to do. Well, after you do that, you click on register. So once you do that, the system will immediately send an email, an email on the registered email, okay? So the email that you put here, the system will use it to communicate with you. So once you are done with this, the system will alert you that there is an email forwarded to you. Go and see that email. So I'm going to fill this information for you to show how it works. Okay, as I said, I'm going to create an account, a real account, but uh, I'm using this account for demo on how to utilize this platform. Okay, so I'm going to start with the email of the user. So the email is kazovio at aqs.org. 
Okay, so this email is real. So the first name is John. The last name is Casovio. So Casovio is selecting the curriculum processes and models and the uh, registration reasons so i keep what i put there before and uh, the statements i agree with it otherwise my account won't be created and if i consent with the terms and condition also i say yes after i click on register after clicking on register the system will process your uh, application, your registration, and uh, immediately you'll get a message saying if you have successfully submitted your application for registration. No, you have successfully submitted your application for registration. The institution or the instance administrator has been notified and you will receive an email as soon as your application has been processed. So. The system will forward it to me an email telling me that there is a new member, a new user who requested the creation of the account. So what I will do, I will go to my email to check if there is a something like that. So um, I have quite a number of emails that I'm using. I think it should come on my gmail there it is you can see the system forwarded already the email and see what is going to tell me somebody has requested to join the institution curriculum processes and models because you are listed as an administrator of this institution you need to to approve or deny this registration request to do this, select the following link. So the system is giving a link to, to follow. So I click on it. If I'm not yet uh, enrolled in LCOP, the system will request me to, uh, to, to log in. But because uh, I was already in LCOP, so the system will open immediately. So you can see, uh, Part of the pending registration, the system is telling me that John Casovio with this email, registration reason, this is the reason he provided. Uh, and the system is telling me that he's going to wait for two weeks before uh, to expire this uh, registration. So what I do as an administrator, I say approve. So I can, the system is asking me to give a reason why I approve this. So it's very important for me to say that, to give the reason. I say uh, this is a potential member of ACA. Or I can say he is already, this applicant is a member of ACA. I can give any other reason. Even those who are not yet members, they are allowed to use this system because what we are trying to do is to support the entire continent uh, to address issues. Okay. So um, once I'm done with this, uh, the system wants to find out if this person should be a staff member of the instance. For the, moment, for the moment, I'm saying no, because the people that you are going to involve in this project and to be the leaders in this project, we need really to train them on how to, uh, to, to, to lead other people within different instances, within different uh, groups. So once I'm done with this, I click approve. So when I click approve, the approve, approval system is successful. Here, yeah, the system is telling me registration approved successfully. So what is going to happen? Here, yeah, the system is telling me that approval sent, waiting for person to complete the registration process. 
So there is one thing remaining for John to do. John has to access his email to see the approval email so that he can finalize the process.